Hello! Today I am going to be sharing with you guys my weight loss routine that I've been following for the last two and a half months to lose these 20 vanity pounds that I gained. I know, cry me a river, Hannah. <laughs> But seriously, losing weight can be hard. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's like the easiest thing in the world to do because it's not. And even if you eat perfect 100% of the time and work out like crazy, losing weight is still a very slow and arduous process that takes a very long time, a lot of consistency, patience, and a very level head to make sure you don't go insane. So I'm sure you guys know this, but I work from home. And a lot of people tell me that it must be so much easier for me because I work from home. And I really don't think that is true. My job is very sedentary. It is basically a computer job where I'm on the computer all day long, responding to emails, talking to people in a Facebook group, doing a bunch of customer service stuff, editing videos, and it doesn't really involve a lot of movement. So I really have had to make it a habit to be able to be active throughout the day so that I can hit my goals and all the things that I wanna do or else I'm just gonna be like laying in my loft and barely moving. I'm literally also always around food all day long. I am a food blogger. I rest my case. Since I've started this mini weight loss journey, I've lost a little bit over one pound per week and I honestly attribute like all of that to this morning routine. It's something that I just have over time followed every single day to make sure that I'm doing all the things that I need to be doing to hit my goals. And that is what I'm gonna be showing you today. So I will stop rambling and let's get into my morning routine. So I feel like no morning routine video is complete without that awkward shot of you struggling so hard to wake up in the morning. So here's me trying to pretend like I just woke up which I obviously didn't, but good morning. After I wake up, I just stretch out a little bit, get myself composed and go downstairs. Then the first thing that I do is I always go into the kitchen and pour a glass of water from my Berkey filter. People ask me all the time about this Berkey filter. I should make a video on it, but it's the best water in the world. Next, I go brush my teeth. This is the toothpaste I use. It's the best I've ever found. I'll link it below for you guys. And I obviously brush my teeth in the shower because we live in a tiny house. So then I just do some other things like I brush my hair, I put on some yoga pants, I spray some sea mist from Osea on my face, put on a little bit of mascara, and this is the one that I use because people literally ask me every day which one I use. I put my hair into a bun so that it's just out of my face and easier and then I usually just kind of like clean up the house a little bit so I'll sweep. We have so much dog hair and cat hair it's ridiculous and then I'll like put it away dishes and all that kind of stuff. Then the first thing that I always do in the morning is go outside to the yoga pavilion and stretch. This is like my favorite thing to do in the entire world is to do yoga because it just really gets me like centered for the day. I have time to myself to just be with myself and you know it, yoga is also just great for strength and so many other things highly recommend it and now we're going to begin the transformational joy breath the next thing that i do after yoga which i talk about this all the time is i do a five minute breath work session i do longer sessions once a week with derek but breath work is amazing for reducing stress and anxiety and helping you really just with like anything it helps with addiction it helps with depression, all kinds of things. So I will leave a link below to a video that I did with the breathwork facilitator from Rhythmia. And I highly recommend you guys just give yourself five minutes a day to practice breathwork. It is life transforming. Then I'll just make a little to-do list of what I need to do for that day and just check some emails, check on some stuff really quick, like my Facebook group, customer service stuff, just to like get a bulk of it out of the way, respond to some people on Instagram, and then I go for my morning walk. So I do all of this first thing in the morning because I know if I do it in the morning, I will get it out of the way. I like to also listen to an audiobook while I do this, so lately I've been listening to Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Joe Dispenza, which is great. But this morning walk, also one of my favorite things to do just because I get a lot of exercise 
in this hour-long walk. It gives me time to just like, again, be with myself and just kind of get centered for the day, be out in nature, and it just gives me a lot of movement for the day. So this will give me about half my daily steps. I usually get between like 12 and 15,000 steps a day. And then this little like 250 steps per hour thing that's on the Fitbit helps me tremendously because like I said, my job is so sedentary that for every little hour, I try and go out and walk around our driveway, which is a thousand steps. So easily doing that every day and just having little movements throughout the day to give myself a break from sitting down working, I can easily get 10, 12, or 15,000 steps in a day. Next thing that I do every single day is drink a cup of nettle tea. Here I'm just showing you how I make it. So I make it the day before and I put about a cup of stinging nettle into the bottom of a mason jar with some ginger and fill it up with hot water. And then I'll just let it cool. Once it's cooled, I'll put it in the fridge, drink it the next morning. Nettle tea is amazing for you. It's something that I recently got into probably like six months ago, but it's really beneficial for your urinary tract. I used to struggle with UTIs quite a bit and this has helped me like off the charts more than anything else. It also helps a lot with digestion. It's packed with minerals that are lacking from our natural spring water and waters that we buy like that that are distilled and processed. So I will leave a link below if you guys want to read more about that. And then I typically just start working for the day and basically like I said that is just sitting on the computer. Around noon time I start to get hungry and with intermittent fasting I typically eat between noon and 6 or noon and 7 and this has helped me a lot. Always have something really nutritious when I break my fast so I've been digging green smoothies and just really wholesome oatmeal meals. So that is my morning routine for you guys. I was going to actually make this video into a daily routine for weight loss but honestly like after I start working for the day I have like a snack and then I just keep working. I take my breaks every hour, like I said, to walk around and get a thousand steps in, hit my 15,000 step goal. Around five o'clock I shower and then I'll eat dinner at like six and then maybe have like a little treat after dinner. So I'll have like a homemade cliff bar or just like some dates or something. I just need to have like something sweet after dinner. I don't know why. After dinner, I just Netflix and chill or I read a book and I go to bed at like nine, get my eight or nine hours of sleep and I'm good to go. But it wasn't really like enough things to film to put into this video because like once I start working, I'm basically done for the day with all of my weight loss activities except for getting the rest of my steps in. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you need any other help with weight loss or you're stuck on your journey or anything like that, definitely check out my Lean and Clean Weight Loss Guide. We also have a free weight loss cheat sheet on our website that I'll link below for you guys. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.